So today we're gonna talk about how to access equity in your home through a cash out refinance or a home equity line and the pros and cons of both. I just got back from Texas and I got to meet with a really good buddy of mine and a lot of his uh, circle of influence, they do a lot of investing and that really like triggered a lot of thoughts and that's really what made me want to talk about this today. I've always known and I practice this myself. You hear me talk about this like I'm all about getting investment properties. And investment properties is probably one of the best investment vehicles that you can have out there. However, ha accessing investment properties is a little different, right? You know, how am I going to get the money to access investment properties? How am I going to find the properties? And is it a smart thing to just pay off my mortgage or should I not pay off my mortgage? and use some of the equity in my property to reinvest into other investment vehicles. We'll kind of break everything down uh, one bite at a time and then kind of go through how to do this and why this is going to be beneficial. Equity. What is equity on your home? Equity is going to be the difference between what you owe and what the value of the home is. That's a big pro to home ownership. When you're renting from somebody, every single month when you're making that rental payment, your rent pretty much stays the same. You have nothing to gain out of it other than a roof over your head. Whereas as a homeowner, you have the ability to make your mortgage payment every single month. And every single month when you're making that mortgage payment, just think about it. It's like one rung down on the ladder. Just think about you're on a 360 step ladder and every single month when you make that payment, you're just keep on coming down. Hopefully over time, if we looked at the housing market over the last hundred years, the housing market is gonna go from the bottom of let's say, you know, homes were probably purchased for $100 back in early 1900s. And then now they're at hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, whatever it is. So that value is going to continue to appreciate. So that's going up the ladder while your mortgage payment or balance is going down the ladder. So hopefully the bigger that gap is, the more equity you're going to have in a home. When we have this much equity, how do we access it? That's why you're watching this. So we have a home equity line and then we have a cash out refinance. Cash out refinances have gotten a little more expensive. However, they still do make sense because you have to evaluate, okay, what is my current interest rate and what would it be with a second mortgage, which is the home equity line or a second true second mortgage. When you look at the two interest rates and you add them together, and you average it out, that's called the blended rate. So even if you had like a 3% rate on, let's say a $100,000 balance, and then you need $300,000 to do repairs on the house, then you're gonna have a $400,000 mortgage, and you have to look at what that second mortgage or that home equity line of interest rate is. And let's just say it's like 10%. You know, 10% on a couple hundred thousand dollars versus 3% on a hundred thousand dollars. When you blend it all together, it's probably going to be higher than doing a true cash out refinance. Whereas on a cash out refinance, when you take out the cash, we're redoing your entire first mortgage, following the guidelines. And if you're borrowing less than 80% of the value of your home, it's probably going to give you a better deal uh, when you look at that blended rate versus doing the second mortgage. Whereas on the home equity line, you can access higher than 80% in some instances. So it does give you a little more cash out. It gives you the flexibility to pay down that home equity line when you're not using it and just having it open to access whenever you want. And that's why the interest rate is a little higher. Think of this as like a credit card for your home, but with that added security, you're getting a better interest rate. The processes of both are very similar. You know, we need title work on it. We need to see what the value of the home is. But typically that's where the difference comes into play. When you're looking at the value of the home on the home equity lines, there's typically just a drive-by appraisal or even a automated valuation of the property. And a lot of times that's not a true reflection or a true indicator as to how much your house is truly worth. When you do the cash out refinance, we're doing an actual appraisal of the property inside and outside of the property. And sometimes we do and can qualify for appraisal waivers. So depending on how we run the loan through the automated underwriting system, that's gonna come back and tell us, okay, we can do this or we cannot with the appraisal waiver or we have to get a full appraisal. The home equity line is typically gonna be a faster closing depending on who you go through. Like we have companies now that are doing these home equity lines in five days that we can do versus going through your traditional bank or a lending institution may take 30 plus days because of, you know, limited staff and things like that, having to overcome some of their internal guidelines versus just standard guidelines 
um, that we know like the back of our hands. Next thing, the length of the loan. That's a big thing. On a mortgage, when you're refinancing, uh, you're going to have options, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 year loan options. Whereas when you're doing the home equity line, those options are pretty much already determined for you. Typical home equity lines are going to be 20 years or less. There is a draw period that is typically associated with the home equity lines where after a certain period of time, you can no longer draw off of that money. Like I said, the interest rates do vary. And typically on a home equity line, you will have the possibility of having a lower payment, like an interest only payment. However, with that, if you're not disciplined enough, every single month you're making interest on payments on it only, then it's just like renting, right? You know, you're always gonna maintain the same balance and you're never gonna have to pay down. So just make sure you're looking at it. Make sure it's not a negative amortization payment. It could be an interest only payment or it could be a standard principal and interest payment. When you evaluate everything, you know, you're, you're choosing the best option for yourself. However, while you're choosing the best option for yourself, one of the biggest things that you really need to look for is who you're getting this from, right? Are you getting it from wholesale mortgage lender like us? Or we're saving more money versus retail? Or are you going through like your retail organizations or mortgage companies? Or are you going through like a, a credit union? So look at all of them compare and contrast and make your uh, decision based on whatever your financial situation and your goals are. So in conclusion, if you have any questions or concerns on cash out refinances or home equity lines, this is a great, great option to choose. With the money, um, I will tell you some of the biggest things that people use the cash out for that's gonna benefit you. Number one, obviously pay off debt. Pay off consumer debt that has like a higher interest rate. Credit card balances and interest rates are through the roof right now. With good or bad credit, you're probably looking at 15 plus percent on that interest rate. Another thing that you know I made mention to at the beginning of this video is to take out the equity, get the tax deduction out of it by getting additional financing. I know having that debt and, and, and looking at your credit report and seeing all this debt is sometimes extremely stressful. However, in the long run, if you're a, a long-term thinker, investing in properties or even the stock market while it's down or whatever is typically going to be a safer investment. You're taking uh, your assets from a home that you've spent many years of paying down and then now you're taking that money and you're reinvesting it into multiple homes that are able to generate some cash flow, generate mailbox money slash tax deduction that you can use to benefit you in the future. So one story that I love to tell all the time is how my mother paid off her first home and when she paid off her first home, she was so proud of it. However, we were like, mom, it's not beneficial to you by paying off to your home just to pay it off. We need to take some tax benefits out of this and she was on like a fixed social security income. She still is. However, we took that equity out of that home and we we're able to secure multiple properties that are now generating cash flow for her in her older years. And she's able to not only generate that cash flow, but now she's had she has way more to give. So she has more to give to her grandchildren, uh, her children, just more to pass on. You know, she's also providing housing to people that need it. If you have any questions or concerns on home equity lines, cash out refinances, any type of financing questions or needs, and your loan officer is just not reaching out to you, or you want someone that like knows the guidelines and really digs deep into all this, feel free to reach out to me. My name is David Zai. I can be reached at 757-478-8493, and I'll talk to you guys later.